Hi, my name is Tammy and I'm going to be interviewing, well we're going to be interviewing young people about their thoughts on healthy eating as part of the curriculum. Right, question one. Explain how important you think it is to teach kids about healthy eating. Um, I don't think it's uh, good, uh, it's more important because it's it's better for them to be healthier as they grow up, so then they don't turn out to be really overweight in the future. Because it would be better if they like talk kids to eat like fruit and vegetables instead of like McDonald's and KFC. Um, I would say that. For younger children in the curriculum, so like key stage one, so primary school, I think it's quite essential that they learn about healthy eating because we tend to remember more things when we're younger, so it will become more natural as you get older. Um, I think it's really important because they should learn from a young age that eating healthy is important for their diet so that they, like, they stay healthy throughout their lives and stuff. Uh, I think kids should know what's right or wrong uh, when it comes to eating and the effects that eating badly should have, uh, the effects that eating badly has on them, but I don't think it should be forced upon them as part of a curriculum. How do you feel about teenagers being able to vote? Um, I think it's good but bad. Like it's good because they're getting interested in it and politics, but it's bad because they're kind of young to vote. Uh, I don't really think that they should be able to vote under the age of 18 because I don't feel like they take it seriously enough. Um, I think it's a good idea, I really do think it's a good idea. However, I do see there's some flaws um, that t some teenagers may not be mature enough to vote, uh, for, like to actually make you know, a precise vote where they've actually thought about it a lot. Um, so I do think there's some problems with it, but I think there are some advantages as well um, because there, it, currently in politics there's a lot of things about um, education, uh, the price of education for university and for colleges, and that obviously affects young people, and I think it's really important to have their opinion on it. Gaming is it damaging our children. According to Baroness Greenfield, spending too much time staring at computer screens can cause physical changes to the brain that lead to attention and behaviour problems and we're going to test that today. Do you agree that it can cause physical changes to the brain and lead to attention and behaviour problems? No. Why? I don't have no reason to believe it, I've been told it does. Okay. Do you agree that it can cause physical changes to the brain and lead to attention and behaviour problems? I don't think so. That's good. It can, depending on whether or not they've been told that it's not real and they understand that. After Conservative election victory in May, there was a pledge to hold an in or out referendum on Britain's membership of the EU before the end of 2017. Some say it may be held next year. Do you think that if England were to leave the EU, we would have a worse standard of living. <coughs> Care to explain? Um, well, when, when, when we're in the EU, we get transported goods into, into our country from other countries. So that would affect it, but then we are an independent country at the same time. Yeah. So. With the EU, we get free trade, and we 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 we're definitely more we're definitely more prosperous with the and also immigration. The EU actually benefits us, which contrary to belief, it's more it's you know we get more money out of um, out of people out of immigration immigration than, than we would if there was no immigration. So um, to the, the economy. So yeah, it, we we we'd be less prosperous, I think, if we left the EU. Adults should pay more attention to what their kids are playing. Yeah, some of the games are very uh, offensive and have uh, rude language and bad video scenes, so I think they should pay attention. Only if they have any concerns about them. Do you think that game shops are strict on what people are purchasing, say if they're underage, or do you think they should be more strict about it? I think they're fine as they are. They do stop people if they do think they're underage. Okay, so thank you. Adults should have control over what their children play completely. We'll be talking to some people about whether they think that access to the internet should be a human right or not.
How many hours do you spend on the internet in an average day? Um, basically most of my time I'm with the internet. Yeah. How much day? Oh, too many. I don't really log it. I'm so I'd say like upwards of four hours. I mean, yeah. It depends on what day. If it's like a weekend, then I'll spend a lot more. But if it's uh, a <coughs> weekday, five, six, maybe. <laughs> Roughly six hours. Uh, do you know what e-learning is? Yes, I do. Like e-learning, sort of like internet learning. So that's like um, when um, children are using the internet, such so like on their Padlets or computers, to research. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Would you uh, care to elaborate? It's like learning online. Do you know what is currently happening in Syria? There is a war going on and refugees are coming from Syria to other countries. Do you know what is currently happening in Syria? No. <laughs> How many hours a day would you say on your phone? Less than one. Would you say on your phone? Um, maybe eight or nine hours. Um, about, I could be anywhere from about two to five hours. Uh, right, how old are you first of all? Uh, 16. 16, right. So what are your feelings about having to stay in higher education to your 18? Well, it's not like I can really do anything else at the moment, so yeah. it sort of, it gives me something to do. Mm, I guess it's worth it in the end. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, well, it doesn't affect me so much because I have stayed into higher education till I'm 18. Okay, so Are you ready? It's recording. So, what are your thoughts and feelings? Go away. Of 18 year olds in Turn education. it off. She went, that was really awkward. We made it weird. We made it weird. <laughs> You're recording me as well. Hello. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Okay. Hello, okay. Hey, fellow focus groups, we are recording. So please, please, <laughs> please be recording. I'll change up the beat because I don't really like it. We're in the voice.